Good afternoon. This is Fred Oltarsh with Liebenman Futures in New York City. And today we're here to talk about coffee futures and the volatility that has re recently uh, went into the market. So uh, we're going to take a look at some volatility and futures and options that pertain to that market. I'm Fred Oltarsh, Senior Vice President here at Liebenman Futures. I have more than 25 years experience on the commodities exchange floor as an options market maker and as head of risk management at the New York Board of Trade slash ICE Futures. Uh, ICE took over uh, New York Board of Trade in uh, 2007 and uh, I was there doing risk, the risk management work of the exchange during that period. Um, just wanted to let you know I've been an options market maker in many markets in New York City, including the coffee market. Had several years experience trading that options market, and it is certainly a, a dynamic and exciting market. Uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, origins and facts about coffee. Coffee is named after an Ethiopian province, and it was originated in the ninth century. It was banned, I guess, due to the ca caffeine issues in Turkey and Egypt at one point and is now the most popular beverage in the world. Brazil is the largest producer and exporter, and the U.S. is the largest importer and consumer. Many people who watch coffee futures watch the weather patterns in Brazil, and it can have a big impact on coffee prices, particularly in the summer months in the U.S. and the winter months in the Southern Hemisphere. Coffee futures are traded at ice futures. Um, they've been trading in New York City since 1882. Um, options on those contracts were introduced in 1986. The ICE Coffee C contract is the benchmark for world coffee prices. The contract um, has a discount or a premium depending upon the type of coffee and the uh, port of origin. These are all built into the contract, and so it's a uniform contract that everybody can trade. Coffee is a 37,500-pound contract. It's set up for delivery in March, May, July, September, and December, uh, with contracts going out several years. But the uh, most, volatile, most heavily traded contracts are the ones in the first three months. The minimum price movement is 0.05 hundredths of a cent, or 18.75 of a contract. There is no daily price limit, and the last trading day is uh, as noted, although uh, most uh, speculators and hedgers get out before the final day of notice. Otherwise, they're at the risk of making or accepting delivery of 37,500 pounds of coffee. Some supply and demand issues can be addressed and are addressed at www.ico.org where you can get statistics and uh, information on imports and exports and production. Um, for those of you who want to do some additional research, you might check out that website. Keep in mind that futures and commodities trading involve significant risk and is not suitable for every investor. Information is obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but is no way guaranteed. Past results are not indicative of future results. Here's a six-month September 2010 coffee contract, the way it looks on a chart. Prices have been in a relatively small range until just recently when they broke out on the upside and volatility has increased substantially. <clears throat> Not only the volatility, but the volume and, uh, as you can see, the open interest as well. In any event, this type of volatility has led us to focus on the trading of futures and options contracts, specifically in coffee. In a simple transaction, one could get along a coffee futures contract. Uh, the example set forth is one where the current price is 159 and 95 one hundredths of a cent. If you buy one contract at that price and the price of the contract eats, increases by one cent to 160.95, you'll have a $375 profit. On the other hand, if you purchase that contract and the price goes down to $158.95, you have a loss of one cent or a $375 loss on the contract. 
one cent is again equal to a $375 movement of the futures contract. If you purchase a futures contract, your upside potential for gain is unlimited because the contract can go up to an infinite price. While if you purchase it and the price goes down, you can only lose the value of the contract. Another strategy to uh, be bullish on coffee or would be to buy a call. Given that the settlement price was $159.95, an out-of-the-money option with a $1.80 strike in coffee is available or was available yesterday, June 15th, on the settlement price of seven cents or 700 ticks in coffee. What that means is that if you buy the 180 call and we go up to 187 or above, you start making money. As you can see from the break even point, 187 is your break even point. The maximum loss you could experience on this trade is $2,625, which is seven cents times $375 per cent. It's a limited risk way of getting long coffee and can produce infinite product profits if the coffee market moves substantially higher or to infinity. If it goes down, your only risk is the premium that you have used to enter the transaction. We list the implied volatility of it because as you go further and further out of the money in the coffee calls, they get relatively more expensive. Now this may be for discussion in another lecture or you can call me directly, but implied volatilities are very important to look at when you're trading coffee options or any other options that are listed. If you're looking for a bearish strategy, buying a put is the opposite of buying a call. You have essentially significant uh, opportunity to profit as the price goes down, of course, it can only go down to zero, so you don't have an infinite uh, ability to profit. And on the uh, maximum loss side is what you pay for the item. In this case, we're doing about the equidistant measure from the 180 call, since we were trading 159.95, and 180 is about 20 cents away from that. 140 strike we're looking at gives you the right to make delivery of coffee for $1.40 a pound. For that right, we are paying 3.99 cents, or the equivalent of $1,496.25. This gives us the right to deliver coffee at the break-even point, 136.01, and take advantage of any downside movement beyond that. And again, we are limiting our risk to $1,496.25. Now, the implied volatility of this option is 46.99%, and when dealing with options prices, this number is very interesting and will be dealt with later in another discussion. So we have two strategies, giving you the opportunity to have limited risk and substantially large profits by either buying a call or buying a put. And given the volatility of coffee, if the volatility were to continue to be as extensive as it's been, there may be substantial opportunities to profit. But again, keep in mind, there is a good chance with these types of investments you could lose as well. And that's the premium that you put up in both cases. For more information, you can call me direct at 347-949-4546 or email me at fredoltarsh at liebenman.com. Uh, I would look forward to entertaining your questions regarding this, and I hope all is well. Thanks for tuning, joining us today. Bye-bye.